Hello, and welcome to Out and About with King Rollo and me, Fraser Harper. Rollo does the pictures. And Fraser does the words. And we both play a bit of music along the way. Now it's great that we're starting this series here in Old Portsmouth. Why? Because this is where I live. In fact, this is my coffee bench. And it's a great place to start the day and watch the shipping in the Solent. We get all sorts here. The Royal Navy's best, of course. Plus banana boats coming into the fruit port, ferries to the islands and beyond, liners on turnaround. We even got Boaty McBoatface the other day. Oh, sorry, that's the Sir David Attenborough. Behind me, the wonderful Royal Garrison Church, and below me, the long curtain moat that sits below the last part of the curtain wall that once encircled the city. The wall was originally built in Tudor and Elizabethan times, but it was rebuilt in the 1670s by the Dutch military engineer Sir Bernard de Gom. Over to my left here, um, a bastion known as the King's Bastion. You can see how popular it is with the dogs and the dog walkers. It used to be called the Wimbledon Bastion in the 17th century, just after it was built. Perhaps it was because they used to play tennis up here in between lobbing cannonballs at the French. And over to the right you can see it's all a bit of a building site at the moment and that's because this is where they're building the first part of Portsmouth's new seawall. Um, quite an endeavour, uh, I can tell you. Freight train, freight train, gone so fast. Freight train, freight train, gone so fast. Just don't tell what train I'm on. So here we are overlooking the Royal Garrison Church. Isn't she beautiful? No roof of course. The roof went in 1941 courtesy of the Germans. It hasn't always been known as the Garrison Church. Uh, that was 1767 it was made into the Royal Garrison Church. Before that it was known as the Domus Dei and it was originally built in the early 13th century as a hospice and an almshouse. It was also a launching off point for people going on pilgrimage. Charles II married Catherine of Braganza there. Here's an interesting fact for you. If Prince William comes to the throne, he'll be the first monarch to be directly descended from Charles II. So Charles II and Catherine never had any children, but he had many children from his mistresses. And one of his mistresses, a Breton lady called Louise René de Queroual, was an ancestor of the Spencer family. Now he seemed to be very much in love with this lady, uh, so much so in fact that he made her the Duchess of Portsmouth. And he was reputed to have said on his deathbed to his brother, do right by Portsmouth. But that's enough of the history for now. I'm going for a swim. And uh, yeah, I, I normally go in around 7.30 and uh, depending on the tide, I'll uh, We're here on top of the Round Tower, which is the main defence right in the mouth of Portsmouth Harbour. And when you look at all of the defences along here, you, you think of them all coming at, at one time, but they didn't. They, they were built up over a number of years uh, through various conflicts with the French. The Round Tower itself started life as a, as a wooden tower uh, built in 1417, which was just two years after Agincourt. So it was built by Henry V. And then it was rebuilt as a stone tower uh, in around 1492 and that was under Henry VII as he was building up uh, the Tudor dynasty and it was under threat at that time from the pretender Perkin Warbeck who had the support of the French uh, and there was a threat of invasion. So uh, the round tower was rebuilt as a stone tower. Uh, he also built along here the uh, square tower at the same time uh, it's square because it was, uh, it was actually a residence, so less functional as a defence than the Round Tower, uh, but more functional uh, as a residence. 
And then the rampart between the two towers didn't come along until the 1670s and that was our old friend Sir Bernard de Gom again. After Charles II created the Royal Navy in 1670 and declared Portsmouth the Royal Dockyard. <laughs> Looking out from here I can see the Solent Forts. There are four of them. I can see three from here and the fourth one is round the corner of St Helens on the Isle of Wight. These were commissioned in the 1860s to defend the coastline against yet another threat of French invasion and were the first forts of a whole bunch of Britain and Ireland that became known as the Palmerston Forts. Lord Palmerston was Prime Minister at the time and the ones we can see here became known as Palmerston's Follies for a couple of reasons. First, the guns pointed inland against a landward invasion rather than the sea. Just try to get into Portsmouth from the landward side during rush hour and you can see why that was a crazy thing to do. And second, by the time they were finished we were pals with the French again. In their time they were the most costly defences Britain had ever built in peacetime. Of course we'd never waste that kind of money today, would we? Anyway, enough of this. I was about making some music, Rollo. Right, I'll just go and get my guitar then.
Now what we didn't take into account is the fact it's Remembrance Sunday today and if you can hear the bells, they're actually what is called half muffled. In other words, there's a muffle on one side of the clapper so you get uh, uh, a loud set of, of, uh, of, of calls and then you get a muffled set of calls. But they've been doing a peel and a peel lasts for three hours. And we've been waiting three hours to do our filming. Uh, they started at 12 o'clock. It's just coming up to three o'clock so by my reckoning they're just about to finish. The br I think they're bringing the bells down now. Down they come. They've been going for about three hours and 20 minutes, something like that. There's 10 bells. If there was eight and they were doing a peel, that would be just over three hours. But they've got 10 bells here. Hear them coming down, the chiming now. Down they come. Down they come. Down they come. And they're just swinging now. They're just doing that now, the bells. They're not doing what they were doing before, which was all of that lot. They're just doing that now. And finish with a ripple, and there it is. Now, unless they choose to do another peel, we can go and film now. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. 